It is one thing to start and a totally different thing to finish. In 2022, together, you and I, all of us as the body of believers, started this good work of constructing the sanctuary of Redemption City Church in Buebaja. It's been a glorious journey by the grace of God. He has taken us step by step, and here we are today. We are finalizing the finishings of this phase of the sanctuary. We have done the walls, we have done the floors, we have done the bathrooms, we have done the paint, and now we are putting in the final details, the painting and the electrical, and to get the place to be as comfortable as you need it to be, in Jesus' name. Let me begin by giving a big thank you to all of you that have faithfully been giving in the midst of this project. We have called on you time and time and time again. And you have responded. That's why when we thank God for you and we pray for you, we do so with faith and expectation. Because as you've been faithful with God's work, God will show himself faithful in your situation. Right now, we are finalizing the finishings of this project. That's why we invite you again to stand with this good work. Stand with us as we finalize this construction work. We need one more push. We are believing God that within the next one month, we will be done with all this construction work at this phase. So we are asking you, we are challenging you, we are requesting you by faith to give us one more push and let's finish this job in Jesus' name. Good morning and praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of our Redemption Revolution service. Uh, we are trusting God that in this time and in this season, He's going to revive our hearts and take us deeper into what He has in store. And as we are going deeper into this, we want to pray and roll it over to God before Redemption Sound comes to champion us to praise and worship our God. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for this moment and this time that you brought us to, O oh God. Thank you for the revival that you're working in our hearts, in our midst, and in our communities, oh God. We pray that you will take us deeper into experiencing you, experiencing your work, and experiencing the flow of your spirit. We pray that for the rest of this service, you will have your way, have your sway, touch our lives, impact us for the glory of your name. May we burn for you that you will rekindle our lives to be a flame for you everywhere we go. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Redemption Sound is coming to champion us, to praise and worship our God. The Bible says praise looks good on you. Keep that praise on even as we uh, worship the Lord our God. Enjoy the rest of the service in Jesus' name. Of your praise, Almighty One. 
Praise the Lord, dear friends. We are glad that you are still with us as we are worshiping and praising the Lord this morning in this Redemption Revolution service. Here at Redemption City Church, we are praying and we are believing and trusting the Lord to do great and mighty things in our lives this year. What situations are you facing in your life that you need the Lord God to intervene? What miracle are you believing God for? We are inviting you to join us and together let us seek the Lord and together let us trust that God is going to do it, that God will fulfill the promise promises that he has made to us, that God will fulfill his word that he has declared for us this year, 2024, in the mighty name of Jesus. Endless love and beauty, endless world. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Jesus, Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Your presence is heaven to me. Yeah. 
Welcome to this Redemption Revolution service. I'm Richard Lutwama, Pastor Charlie. We are here at the Redemption Studio and we are ready to bring you the Word of God for today. Hallelujah. It's such an honor to join you, Bishop, yep. and all the people of God that are connecting all around the world. You are very most welcome. We trust God to bless you with His Word today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We've been talking revival and before we get into it, Pastor Charlie is going to give us a quick update on the Redemption HQ construction works. I know he's decked out in that helmet just to remind us of the good works that have been going on. Amen. Amen. It's such a good work that God is working through us uh, with the Redemption uh, HQ. It's mm. a beautiful facility that is already up. Yes. And uh, we're on the final. We are we are close to the to the to to to, to the finish, and uh, we have dubbed it redemption finishings because right now the paint is in the electricals are in and we're left with a few touches to make the place very habitable and comfortable for you even as you come to worship god with us hallelujah Amen. we want to thank you that have uh, stood with us uh, along the way and uh, we want to challenge all of you to stand with us we need one more push one one more push to the finish line we are almost there Amen. just just one little more push yep. and we will get it done Hallelujah. reach out on the numbers that you see on your screen send us that finishings offering mm. and participate in this blessed season Hallelujah. with what god is doing Amen. now pastor charlie for the past several weeks we've been talking revival Hallelujah. all this came out of pentecost yep. as we began to see what god did in the upper room mm. And no, guys, as the people of God, we must be at that place where we are persistently seeking and searching and mm. serving mm. and doing that which God wants us to do. We must be at the place of revival. Hallelujah. We have said revival is God connecting with his people. Yes, sir. Bringing his grace and glory yep. that it may be a daily, regular exercise yes. so that we can experience God on a regular basis. Mm. God is not relegated to yesteryear. No. Nope. God is for now. God, God is, for, is now. for here. Hallelujah. God is for today. for today. Many people are comfortable talking about God, mm. what he did in 1968 mm. and what he did in 1992 mm. and what he did in the early 2000s yep. and they become uncomfortable mm. when somebody says, you know what? God is doing something even today. today. So revival is all about working, the working of God, yep. working in us today mm. so that it is not something that is just just in a story, mm. story format. Yep. Christianity, walking with God, is not a storybook experience. No, it is real. Yep. And how it is real today is mm. when God releases the power of His Holy Spirit, yep. when He releases the fire of revival mm. in the hearts of His people Glory today. To God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God releases the fire of revival. I get excited, Bishop, when I hear those words yes. because I love the fire of God. Oh, yes. I love his power, his grace upon my life. Amen. It excites me because that's the reason, that's 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 the proof mm. of my Christianity, that mm. I am still present. You see, uh, the thing about uh, humanity or life is that without uh, a pulse, you mm. are not alive. Mm. Without, With, a pulse, without a pulse, you're gone. Mm -hmm. And you can't say, I had a pulse yesterday, I had a pulse 20 minutes ago, no, and now and no. I, I'm still alive today, Somehow. even without... Even without Without a, without a pulse. Or, or that the pulse I had yesterday can work today. Mm. I need the pulse to be going on and keep, you know, every time I touch it, I it must have there. one. Yeah. I must have one. And that's the thing. The fire of the Spirit is the pulse of God. Oh, the revival boy. of God yes. is that it, it's it's the daily experience. Yes. That every single day I'm ticking. I'm ticking. I'm ticking. I'm, I'm, I'm alive with God. Yes. I'm present with God. He did things with me yesteryears and he's still doing things with me today. Hallelujah. Because I was in his presence yes. and I still am in his presence. Hallelujah. So I tick every time I hear the words of revival mm. because God, it means that God is still with me. God Hallelujah. is still with me. The promise of God, he says, Jesus says, uh, you know, go and preach everywhere because mm. I will be with you until the end of the age. The that promise for me is so real. And the, the, the when we talk of revival, it, it, it speaks to me in a powerful way because it means that the, the promise that Jesus made is alive with me. God revival 
revives me every morning. He rejuvenates my life. He fires me up. Because that's what we need every day. Oh, yes. We can't run on the fuel of yesterday. No, we can't. We, we need new fuel. Yes. When you're driving that car, you need to fuel it on a daily, depending on the journey that you're going on. Mm. You it must it runs with fuel. Yep. So it must have fuel on every day. Come and on, that's man. why the power of the spirit is very critical. And uh, like the good bishop said, we begin it begins at Pentecost and it continues with the fire of God continuing on every single day day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Those of you who don't know, Jesus came to bring fire. Yeah. That's what John the Baptist said. He yes, will sir. baptize you with fire, fire so that your life is ablaze oh, for God. Glory to God. God doesn't like dead stuff. Shadika. God doesn't like dead oh, No, he doesn't. No, he, he wants doesn't. fire. He wants Jesus fire. Jesus says, yeah. I, I would rather there, that you're either hot mm. or you're cold. Yeah. But when you're somewhere in the middle mm. there, you're lukewarm. You're lukewarm. This thing is not working. This, 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 this thing <laughs> look warm I'll, I'll spew you I'll yep. spit you out yep. man yep. I'll get yep. rid of you get rid either of you. your heart <laughs> Oh, or yeah. you're cold. Yeah. I don't want you somewhere there in the middle. Mm. Revival is being hot for Hallelujah. God. Revival is seeking hard e after Revival means you qualify yourself yes. as a God seeker. Yes. Not just as a God seeker, oh, but you're on, a God Bishop. chaser. Yes. It means you leave so mm. much and you chase after, after God. God. You chase hard yes. after God. Yes, yes, Revival yes. is all about oh, you Rambi meeting Lagada. and connecting mm. with God yes, sir. so that God God is not in the same category mm. as Humpty Dumpty. Nope. God is not in the same category as mm. Santa Claus. No, he's Jesus not. is not ah. Santa Claus. My God. I mean, Come God on, is real. He's, he's so alive real. today. Yes, sir. And he's working in the lives of his people today. Hallelujah. You can experience him. Mm. You can touch him. Mm. You can run with him. Glory when to you've God. got him, you know you've got him. You've when got he's him. gone, you'll know he's, he's gone. gone. When he's on leave, you'll yep. know he's not there. <laughs> When you lost uh, him, you know you lost him. Mm, and when you've got him, you know, oh yes, I I've got, got the lover of my soul. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of the words in the Song of Solomon when mm. this, uh, the, this, the writer of the song was saying, have you seen him? Mm. Have you seen that lover? Mm. I'm looking for him. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah, him yeah. with him, yeah. but I don't anymore. Ooh. I know what it feels like to be with him, yep. and I know what it feels like to, to be know. without Come him. Come on, Bishop. I pray that mm. you get to that place yes, sir. where you know what it means to walk with yes, God on a daily, daily. not yesterday, daily. not on Christmas Eve, daily. but every day. every day, that you may say with oh, confidence, he walks with me, Ooh, come I on walk now. with him yes, sir. along the life's yes, sir. journey, yes, sir. everywhere yes. I go, everywhere he's right I go. there Glory. with me. Yes. That's why this, this revival series, we've been pounding away, mm. that you need to connect with God, you need to connect not just with God. the choir, yes. connect with God, oh, not just the pastor, yep. connect with, with God. God, not just the church, Ooh, connect, connect with, with God. God. I know you're connected yeah, 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 yeah. with everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. on Instagram, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're connected and you're following everybody on Facebook, but are you connected with, with God? God? Yeah. Are you synced Ooh, in and locked on in with God? Yes, sir. Once you've done that, mm. we call it revival. revival. That's what revival mm. is, locking in, syncing mm. your heart and your mind with God. Some of you have synced your device. When you sync your device, your mm. laptop, your phone, your 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 watch, they are mm. all on one. Yes, they are all synced. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, the messages yeah. on this one are Come. on that one as yeah, well. Yeah. The messages on your email here mm. are also on your device, on your laptop, and yeah. on your desktop. Yes, sir. I'm talking about syncing with God. God. That you'll hey, sync in God. with the Holy Sabah Ghost. Dige. That the things mm. that God loves are yeah. the things you will you love. Will that the things that God releases are the things you will receive. Mm. That the page at which God is at is mm. the same page mm. that you will be at. Hallelujah. Some of you are on a page what God that God has never been at in a mm. long, long time. He's not on the page of Telemundo. <laughs> oh, oh, believe me, he ain't there. He's, uh, he's, not. he's not on the page of Slack and nope. Lazy. No, he's, he's not. not there. No, he's he's not. at a certain level, a certain yeah. dimension. Revival yeah. is you sinking your spirit. 
spirit mm. with the spirit of, of God. God. I know you're saying, where is that in the Bible? I'll tell you where it is. He said, David mm. has a heart after, after. my... Oh, oh, put it God. in today's language. Yeah. David's heart has been synced Sync with, with my the... heart. <laughs> they are one and uh, the same. And that's God. what we are saying. Revival. Yes, revival. Oh, Pastor Charlie, let, let's get in the Bible now. Let's get in the Bible now. <laughs> oh, we are in God. the book of Mark. Mark, Mark <laughs> chapter 5. Pastor Charlie, get us Ooh. reading here. Mark yes. chapter 5. I'll read from verse 25. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And there was a woman who had had an, a discharge of blood for 12 years. Yes. And... Uh, who had suffered much under many physicians mm -hmm. and had spent all she had mm -hmm. and was no better but rather grew worse. Grew she had heard the reports about Jesus and yes. came up behind him in the crowd yes. and touched his garment. Yes. Well, she said, if I touch even his garments, mm -hmm. I will be made well. Mm -hmm. And immediately the flow of blood dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Yes. And Jesus perceiving in himself that power had gone out from him, mm -hmm. immediately turned about in the crowd and said, who touched my garments? Mm. And his disciples answered him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? Mm -hmm. And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, mm. came in fear mm. and trembling and fell down before him and told, the whole, told him the whole truth. Mm. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed. Of your disease. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Charlie, here is a lady who's sick many, many years. Yes, sir. She's been bitten, she's been battered, and mm. she's sick. Mm. She's lost all she's got. She's mm. lost all her hope. Yep. When she hears about Jesus and mm. what God can do, mm. she says, I must connect with him. Yes. I must meet him. Mm. I must reach out wherever he is mm. and link up mm. with him yes, sir. so that I can receive mm. from God. Yes, sir. Today, as we talk about revival mm. our sermon title is prayer depth Hallelujah. because you see pastor charlie you cannot mm. connect with god when you're shallow in prayer mm. the depth of your prayer determines mm. the depth of the connection Ooh. you have with god. My god if you are a shallow prayer warrior mm. and your prayer life is shallow mm. scratching the surface, the surface your connection with god is mm. going to be surface level mm. that's where we pray plus jesus <laughs> minus, minus devil, devil. <laughs> and we are gone uh, i tell you what prayer Come depth on. determines mm. that depth at which you connect with God. Yes, sir. Do you want to see God more? You need mm. to go deeper in deeper. prayer. Glory. Do you want to see the Holy Spirit more? You need to go deeper, deeper. in prayer. Yes. I'm reminded of Moses. Mm. This was a man who talked with God yes. who did great and glorious things. Yes, sir. You all remember the ten plagues of Egypt. That mm. was Moses. Moses. You all remember the, the, the splitting and the opening of the Red Sea. Moses. That was Moses. Yes, you all sir. remember the cloud by day and the fire by, by night. night. That that was Moses. Yep. You all remember the Ten Commandments written mm. in the finger of God? God? That was all about Moses. Moses. But how did he get there? Mm. This was the Moses mm. who could go in prayer mm. unrestricted, unhindered, yep. non-stop mm. all the way. Yes, sir. I mean, he would do 40 days mm. prayer and fasting Fast. just like that. Yes, sir. There's a time he had been up the mountain for 40 mm. days. Mm. When he came back down, he found mm. these guys were fooling around. Mm. He was so angry. He crushed the golden calf. Mm. He didn't take a break. He didn't hang around for a weekend. He brought down the fire and then that very evening he went, went back, back up the mountain yes, for another 40 days of prayer and fasting. fasting. The depth of the experience he had with God mm. was a revelation of the depth that mm. he had with God yes. in the place of prayer. Of prayer, my goodness. Bishop, I, I, that's so profound right now. Oh, I, I'm still downloading this word as well mm. because it's so profound. God is calling us to depth. Depth. God is not calling us to shallow, uh, uh, to, to, to the shallow waters. The entry level. Uh, the entry level no. of prayer. No. That entry level of prayer can get you a plate of food and and praise God for the plate of food. Mm. But when we're talking revival, we're talking of 
depth. Yes. Oh, here yeah. actually the Bible says uh, that they that do business in the deep, mm. uh, they see the wonders of God. Come on, Pastor the Chan. wonders of God are the revivals, uh, the word, things that word. God can do. He says, they that do business in, in the, the deep. deep. Uh, Come on, you, when you're going to experience God, mm. if you're going to experience God, you have to quit uh, this ordinary, shallow, and the beginner entry level. Entry level. Entry level. Prayer. You mm. cannot do entry level prayer when you're talking revival. Mm. Revival is going to take time and it's going to take depth. Mm. Child of God, you have to go deep as deep can be because that's where God is. Hallelujah. That's where the realm of God is. Hallelujah. When you seek him with all of your heart and you go as deep as deep can be, that's where you'll experience the glory of God. Hallelujah. The Lord. Guys, we are all warmed up. Yeah, yeah, we're all yeah, fired yeah. up. Hallelujah. We are ready to get into the depth of this word. But yeah. before we do, we're going to take a quick break. Mm. A quick, quick break. Mm. After we take Take that break. When we come back, we're going to take you deeper in the depth of prayer. Our lines are open for counseling on Airtel on plus 256-759-777-444 and on MTN on plus 256-783-258-049. Saints of God, the principle of sowing and reaping still works today. Your giving is a critical key to your prosperity. You can send your tithe, offering, and miracle seed by mobile money on Airtel on plus 256-759-777-444 and on MTN on plus 256-783-258-049. You can also send through our website on www.redemptionglobal.net. Remember, a giving heart is a cheerful heart. Welcome back to this Redemption Revolution service. Richard Lutwama, Pastor Charlie, we are bringing you the Word of God from the Redemption Studio. We are in Mark chapter 5. Pastor Charlie read for us from 25 all the way to 34. In this scripture, we see the woman with the issue of blood who said she needed a healing and she decided to press into God. We are talking about revival and we are looking at this woman's story to show you that if you want the deep things of God, you must go deep in prayer. We have said and mm. we will say it again mm. if you want to do what you have not done before oh. you must learn to do what you have not Never done before, before. Yes, in the realm of prayer mm. if there are things that you want in God that yeah. you have not experienced mm. you must pray like you have never prayed never pray. you want to do some heavy lifting oh. but you have not yet built your muscle mm. you have not increased your capacity mm. prayer is your spiritual capacity Yep. that enables you to do oh, heavy lifting yes. in the realm of, of the spirit. The spirit. You see, you are at entry level mm. with the things that you need mm. because your prayer life is at entry level. Yep. Do yep. you yep. want to yep. go deeper? Mm. Do you want to go farther? Mm. Do you want to experience the miracles and mm. the hand of God like yes. never before? Yes. You need to pray yes. at levels and dimensions like mm. you've never before. experienced. Yes, sir. Five yes, things sir. we want to talk about today. Mm. First of all, there are different levels in prayer. Yes, sir. Don't think we are all praying. What you're <laughs> doing and what the spiritual giants are doing, they are not at the same, same. level. Yes. Just like children, when mm. they sing in Sunday school, they are mm. A, B, C, Ds. <laughs> don't ever think that that is a poem. Mm. They don't ever think that that's the same as the speech at the United Nations. No, it's not. Those are totally different, different. ball games yep. and they are, there's a there's a chasm in yeah. between. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is yeah. so far, like the east from the west. They're yeah. all speaking. Yeah. They're all talking. Yes, but they are different levels. Different levels. There are different levels to this thing of core prayer. Oh, yeah. We cannot pray the same level yeah. if we're going to get things done. Yes. There is a level of prayer where all you need, like we said before, is just a plate of food. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's prayer, praise God, and it will get you the plate of food because mm -hmm. you didn't have it in the first place and mm -hmm. that's a good place to be. Yes. But there's a place of prayer you get to yep. and it's not even about you. Yes. But Paul said it like this. He said, the things I don't want to do, these ones I find myself doing. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he actually speaks it another place and he said, God, God, 
got him by his hand and took him to places you yeah, know he that go. he didn't want to go mm. and that's the thing of, about prayer you get into a place where god puts a burden on your spirit mm. and until that burden is lifted you're not praying about at that at that place you're not even talking about what you need mm. you are talking about what god needs yes. what god needs for your society yes. what god needs for your family because yes. the burden of the lord right there you're into intercession mm. it is it's god's burden it has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with god Hallelujah. what are we saying when you're talking revival you have to understand that there are levels and dimensions that you have to ascend to mm. in prayer you mm. don't just you you don't do ordinary you don't start uh, yeah yeah you might actually start the same place uh, but there are places that you only go to when god has trusted you enough yes. god has seen that you have the capacity to withstand a particular level of heat because prayer is, is 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 not is not a walk in the park oh no Prayer, spiritual it, 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 it's spiritual heat serious yep. heat in the spirit yep. and god has to trust you to lift from the place that you're at to the next level to the next level to the next level until you are in sync i love that thing that bishop said uh, when i i, I notice my, my my phone uh, it tells you when you're syncing your gmail your mm -hmm. your, your gmail yeah. to, yep. to 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 the different things that you have on the phone you have your calendar you have your photos you have uh, every, like you have different things that you different apps di different apps that you you have and then they tell you sync this mm -hmm. to the other thing sync your calendar to your google in other words when you sign in on your google on on your device on your phone even when you sign in on your computer it will show you that on this day at this time this is where you're supposed to do there are levels to the syncing yes. you can choose to sync everything you can choose to sync a few things yes. and at the entry level you just sync the the ordinary contact yes. you get to a point where even your calendar is synced yes. and everything you're doing here is synced every even your bank even your synced. bank is point. oh yes yeah. even yeah 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 at, at certain at a certain part at the certain point your certain bank level, yes. at a certain level oh, your yeah. bank is also synced yeah. now everything is connected yeah. that's the thing we're talking about connecting with god at different levels which level are you at right now? If I could pause and ask the question, which level are you at? Are you aspiring for a deeper level to go higher in prayer? Are you still asking God for bread? Praise God for the bread. But it gets to a time when you know that the righteous cannot lack bread mm. and consequently you go deeper. Mm. Those are the dimensions that get revival on here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Guys, where is your place in the place of prayer? Where are you at? What level are you at? Mm. Are you at entry level? Are mm. you are you somewhere in the intermediate level? Mm. Have you gone deeper? Mm. The other question is, how long have you been at that level? Oh. There's no trouble with you being yeah. at a certain level. Yeah. But how long have you have been, you been there? there? Uh, some of you have outlived that level. Yes, sir. You need to drop it and, yep. and, and upgrade yes, sir. so that you can uh, get to the next thing mm. that God has for you. You. Yes, sir. Revival is all about going deeper, deeper. in prayer, Glory deeper levels, yes, deeper sir. dimensions. Yes, sir. It also brings about deeper hours. Mm. I'm sorry to say, guys, I wish I could tell you that uh, it's going to happen like a microwave <laughs> and five minutes and uh, and it is ready. Dinner mm. is served. Mm. But prayer don't work that way. that way. Here you are mm. praying something that is of great eternal value mm. and you want to pray it down in five minutes. No fasting. Mm. And uh, hardly any scripture, mm. hardly any seeking, mm. no prayer partners, mm. just you and you alone, yep. just moving this little <laughs> something. <laughs> and mm. meanwhile, you're trying to move a mountain. A mountain. Listen, guys, you mm. need to go beyond the two-minute prayer. Yep. And I've had people pray, Lord God, as we go. <laughs> if that's how you start your prayer, Lord, as we, as go, we go, you are not uh, even at entry level. You haven't. Uh, Lord, 
but as started. we go, you haven't even started. <laughs> you haven't started the yet. hours, the minutes oh, that dear. you're putting in your prayer life mm. are too little yep. for the things that you've been doing. Yeah. There's a place where you get in ah, God. Ah, ah, the ah, things ah, that you've got to do ah, have ah, eternal ah, consequences. Yes, sir. One hour won't cut it. It won't cut Two it. Two hours won't cut it. Yes, sir. Sometimes you need to go deeper mm. and you need like four hours of yep. prayer. Yes. Sometimes you do it in four hours of prayer mm. and those four hours of prayer are enough. Mm. But then you get to a level where your four hours are not enough. Yep. You need other prayer warriors. Yes, sir. So now you gather 20 of you yes. putting together four hours, hours and you're able to generate enough spiritual power mm. to release what God has in store for mm. you. And then there are dimensions where your four hours mm. and all 20 of you uh, won't, do. won't do. Now it. you need to augment it mm. and you need a hundred of you yeah. You see, you don't understand. Uh, the Bible says yeah, yeah, one yeah, of yeah, you will put a thousand to right, flight. Yeah, Two yeah. of you yeah. will not just 2,000, mm. but it will be 10,000. 10, Suddenly you understand the My depth God. of prayer, yes, the hours of, of prayer. prayer. Now, before I let Pastor Charlie come in mm -hmm. here, some of you are looking at me and saying, I don't have enough time. <laughs> Listen, man, yeah. you've got enough time to watch all the sports you want. Yep. You've got enough time to, to, to go to the beach and relax. Yes, you you've do. got enough time to hang out on mm, online and mm, on social media mm, and you're just scrolling you're through scrolling your feed through. and you're just scrolling through oh, your dear, feed. Don't dear, tell me dear. that you don't have time for you prayer. Have time. Uh, you, you've got time for <laughs> movies. Mm. And these days, you guys, you all been watching series mm. and, and it's season one and there are 24 in there <laughs> and then there, there's another season and yep. another season. So don't yep. begin tell me you don't have time. Mm. It's because if you don't give God time, yep. you will not get what you need from God. Hallelujah. The thing is, people are not prioritizing God. Yes. It's other things that we are giving priority. It's mm. other things that we are giving time. Yes. We have to understand that this thing called revival is going to take you, if you're going to walk in sync with God, mm. you must give God time. Mm. You must give God attention. The good bishop quoted Moses. He was there 40 years. Moses is not there for one day. No. He's not... Uh, 40, 40 days. He's 40 not days. there. He's 40 not there. Days. He's not there for one day. No. He's not there for two. He yep. goes the first. He goes the second. 40 good days the yes. man is there yes. and he's waiting he's waiting on God no wonder the Bible says he comes out of that experience and the continence his continence has changed you don't get continence changing in one minute child no. of God no, no, it no, doesn't no. change no. That God has rubbed off of Moses yes. he, oh, God has on. rubbed off of Moses the so time. much so yeah. because it, he has given him time, given him time. And it, I, I can imagine and if I hug you, Bishop, I will get your sins. Yeah. I will get your cologne off yep. of me. Yep. And if I pass somewhere, somebody can mistake me yep. because I have a cologne like yep. Bishop. Yep. And that's because I've spent some good time. Close some by. Close Not by. Yeah, close. It's, it's close enough mm. that I rub off of you. Yeah. And yep. this is, yeah. oh, Come child on of God, you must understand that God wants time with you. Time. Because time is what breeds uh, intimacy yes, with you yes. and him and it's going to take time yes. that revival that you need uh, yes. you're going to have to take enough time yes. maybe an hour maybe two a day and more the bible oh sorry it's not the bible church history tells us about the moravian revival yes yes these guys locked themselves and they were saying, we're going to pray. Yeah. And they prayed the first year yeah. and the second year yeah. and a hundred years. Yes. Dudes are praying for revival. The things that we are asking God for, mm. we need to understand that they're going to take time and we've got to stay in there. Take enough time with God that he will rub off of us. The Moravian revival we're talking about is what gives birth to many of what we call Pentecostal. Pentecostalism today because these people paid the price in yes, prayer and yes, they took yes. time with it. They yes. took time with the child of God. The thing you're asking God for, you need to understand that there's a price to pay and that price is time. It means that you're cutting off a few things. The luxury of Netflix is going to be cut off. Mm. The, the, the luxury of the series is going to be cut off. On, now man. you need to understand that it is God time. God time. Ah, it's God time. God 
don't time. you don't be calling me at this time because why I am talking to God. This is God you don't time. You, you don't interrupt my program. Why? Because I have an engagement with God. I'm not going to uh, entertain you. I'm not going to be with you. I'm sorry. I love you, but I can't be with you because I have a greater lover that I have to meet, and his name is Jehovah God. Hallelujah. That is what gets revival because we are taking time with God. We're taking time with God. We're not in and out like you do, you know. Okay, for, I, I don't want to say those things. We are mm. in the middle of the service. No, Child of help. God. No. Child Focus of God. Stay. Stay with God. Ah. Stay. Give God time and give Him your best. Hallelujah. Pastor Charlie, I'm reminded of Jesus and mm. the disciples. Yes, sir. When Jesus was gone, the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples mm. and everybody took note of them. When they mm. did the miracle signs and wonders, yeah, yeah, they yeah, took yeah, note yeah. of them and said, hang on, mm. we know them chaps. Yeah. They are uneducated, yeah. they are unexposed, mm. and they've been with Jesus. Been These with were Jesus. the guys with him for three long years. Yes. They were with him day and, and night. night. No wonder they are doing whatever they are able oh, to do. My God. What you do uh, is a revelation of who you've been with. Come on, Bishop. It's a revelation Come of who on you've now. spent time Ooh, with. Yeah, 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 spent yeah, yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. with God, yes, sir. it reveals in you yes, sir. the grace, the wisdom, oh, Rambi, the self-control, mm. the, the anointing, the gifts of the Spirit, yes, sir. The, the anointing, the mm. glory, the glory, the glory. The glory. Yeah. If you've been Shana with Bosa. useless nobodies, mm. yeah, the yeah. vagabonds, mm. we can also tell, can tell the words you speak, <laughs> the mannerisms you yeah, hold, yeah, yeah. the way you hold and carry yourself. Yes, yeah, yep. If you have spent time with gangsters, mm. the way you speak gangster, mm. we can tell you've been around the gangsters, gangsters. in the hood yep. and you spend time with, with them. them. What we are saying today mm. is if you want revival, uh, the manifestation of the grace and the glory of God on you, let us give time. Give God time, time to God. Yes, sir. Time to the things of God. Yes, sir. Time in the presence of God. Of God. Time with God. Yes. It is never wasted. Never it is always invested. Yes. We're going to conclude. We Ooh, need to conclude. We, we, we'll give you uh, one more. Uh, one more. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. order for you to go in the depth of prayer. First mm. of all, you need to know the levels. Mm. Secondly, you need to give time and hours in prayer. Mm. Thirdly, you need to use the diversity of of prayer. Yeah. Prayer yes. is so diverse. Yes, sir. Many times people yes. ask me, how are you able to pray for long hours? Mm. Someone honestly told me that, you know what, man of God, I love to pray and I mm. love what you're saying. But when I go to pray, I'm done in five minutes. Mm. I'm literally done mm. in five minutes. Yep. It's because, first of all, they don't know what prayer is. Mm. They think prayer is asking God, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Then you can literally be done with your list in five minutes. Yep. Matter of fact, five minutes is too long. Just mm. write it down. God can read and, and say, everything. God, there you go. That's my shopping <laughs> list. Prayer is not a shopping no, list. It's not. Prayer is time in the presence of God. Yes, sir. Prayer is time of communion, communion with, with God. God. Where you speak to him yes. and you download your feelings unto yes, God. Yes, and yes. you keep give God all that you're feeling. You mm. upload your fears, Mata, your yeah, worries, Rabbi, your joys, Rabbi, Rabbi, and you Rabbi, smile with Rabbi, God Rabbi, and you laugh with yes. God. It doesn't end there. Yes. God begin to download ah. his life in you. Oh, yes. And he's giving you his ways. Yes, he's giving you his wisdom. Yes, he's giving you his insight. Yes, sir. He's giving you his peace. Yes, he's sir. giving you his love. Yes. He's giving you his joy. Yes. Now there is a divine exchange. exchange. For bitterness, you're getting peace. Oh, for, for, for misery and worry, for ashes, you're getting beauty. There is a That's why you need to understand the diversity of prayer. There's so much in there. Yes. First of all, there's the prayer of supplication. Yes, sir. That is, uh, uh, then there's a prayer of uh, of petition. And yes, then sir. there's the prayer of making your requests yes. known unto God. Yes. There's praying in understanding. Yes. There's praying in, in the tongues. Mm -hmm. There's praying beyond tongues. Yep. Uh, you're saying, which one is that? <laughs> when you're praying in tongues, the yep. Bible says there are tongues of men mm. and tongues of, of angels. angels. But then you get to a place where you're groaning in the uh, spirit. Now you're yeah. not praying in any tongue. No, you're not. Nobody can understand no, you. No, Even no. you cannot understand, understand you. you. You 
are groaning in the spirit. These are all realms and levels in prayer. Then there is prophetic accuracy in prayer. Then there is prophetic declaration. There is moving the heavens and moving the earth in prayer. I mean, there is so much diversity in Mm. prayer. If you come to God in Mm. prayer and you Mm. pray for your one listen, say, God, give me, give me. You'll be done in two minutes. They actually speed it up. Just write it down and say, there it is. is. But that's not prayer. That is a shopping list. Prayer is being able to Mm. engage with God in Mm. the diversity of this God. This is how I should conclude. And Pastor Charlie will come in. We are talking about an unlimited God. Yes, sir. And you engaging with this unlimited God mm. in the diversity mm. of his unlimited grandeur. Hallelujah. I don't know how you can do that, but oh. somehow figure it out. <laughs> Find a way. That, that's, <laughs> that's revival. Hallelujah. Because God is many faced. Uh, he's, uh, he's many uh, faceted. How do yes. they put it? Faceted, you know, the, yeah. the Bible says, actually, it's in the book of Revelation, that the, the, the elders, the 24 elders, they bow. Yes. And every single time they, they, they bow is because a new dimension of God is revealed. Yeah. A new dimension of God is revealed. Inexhaustible. Before you think that God is the God that parts the sea, yeah. he's about to show up in a new dimension. Oh, yeah. Now he's showing up as healer. Hallelujah. Before you rub your head around him being a healer, he shows up as the God that gets water out of a rock. Before mm. God God is Come multifaceted yeah. and he wants us to experience the multifacetedness yep. of God in our experience with him. Hallelujah. The reason why we stay long and all of this like Bishop was saying is because we are engaging the different levels of God. Yes. The different dimensions of God. Yes. The diversities of God. Yes. Sometimes you come and all you do is adoration. Yep. You say God you're worthy. Yep. There is nothing like you. Adoration is so powerful powerful because it can release glory. It can release grace. Sometime you're coming because you understand that he's the Lord of hosts Mm -hmm. and there's a devil loose that you need to cast out of your family and you're coming and you're saying, God, in the name of Jesus, devil out. I don't want to hear no nothing. Now, uh, another moment you're coming and you, you, you understand that God is the healer and you're engaging the healing ability of God for your people for yourself, for people around you. You're, there are different dimensions that speak to the different dimensions of God. And all of this is, a, 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 is an experience that you get when you have come in the place of prayer. You understand the diversity of prayer. You understand that there are different facets of God that you need to engage when you come to pray to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Hallelujah. Charlie has given us a, a word here and uh, that word is mm. Uh, 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 faceted? What was the word? <laughs> Multifaceted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We need to check the dictionary. But another word that's in the Bible yeah. is an, a word insurmountable. Mm. Another word that I would like to put in yeah, there yeah, is the yeah, word yeah. inexhaustible. Oh, yes. Sir. And uh, that is oh, yes, God. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you must be able to mm. engage with God from level to level, yes. dimension to dimension, yes, glory sir. to glory, faith yes, to sir. faith. Yes, sir. And as the Bible is true, you will not be be able to exhaust Exhaust. God. John said, if Mm. all the things that Jesus did were written in a book, he said the world Mm. cannot hold all mm. them books. Yes, sir. I want to say it this way as we conclude. Mm. I recently saw a video online mm. and this was a video of a drawing. Pastor Charlie, you've never seen anything like this. Mm. This drawing has been uh, declared one of the most expensive and the intricate drawing. Mm. You see a picture of a woman mm. and then you zoom into her eye and inside the eye there is a world. Mm. A picture of the world. My and you God. zoom in into that world and there is a picture of a village. Mm. And you zoom into that village and there is a picture of a heart and you zoom into that heart and there is a picture of a man and you zoom Whoa. into that man yeah, and there's a picture of the galaxy my, and you zoom into that galaxy my, and there's a picture of my, the earth my, they my, are my. 15 levels mm. of picture behind picture behind picture I say that to say mm. this God. the God that you serve mm. is so deep yeah, the yeah, God yeah, that yeah, you yeah, serve 
is so wide. Deeper, Paul deeper, said it deeper. this way. Mm. The, 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 the breadth of his love. Yeah, 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 the yeah, height yeah. of his love. love. The, the width yeah, yeah, of yeah, his yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so wide. Oh. You can't get across it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so deep. Yeah, yeah. You can't get to the bottom. bottom of it. it is so high. Yes. You can't get to the length yeah. of it. And that is why in the place yeah. of yeah. prayer, yeah. you yeah. can keep going yeah. deeper yeah. in the experience yeah. with God. Yeah. I'll conclude with what the yeah. Bible yeah. says. Yeah. Pastor Charlie, he says, yeah. the path of the righteous. Oh. That's why he said it. Ah. It Come goes brighter yeah. and brighter and to yeah. that perfect yeah. day. Just in case you think you've arrived, mm. there's another level of brightness. Yes, sir. He says it this way. Mm. He's taking you from glory to unto glory. glory. And the next yeah. level of glory yeah. is greater than this level yeah. of glory. Shamama you will get that. so much glory in yes, God. Yes, you sir. will wonder what you thought was glory yes, yesterday. Yes, yes, and then yes. tomorrow yes. you will see much more glory Come of on, God. Man. You will look uh, at today and say, wow, this was yeah, nothing. Yeah, what yeah, are we yeah, talking yeah. about? Mm. In order for you to have revival, go deeper in prayer. Engage the diversity of God. Engage the fullness of the power of God. Give God the time that it is going to take for God to download in your life so that you can experience the power and the glory of yes, God ha. beyond ha. your wildest glory, imagination. Glory Guys, God. revival Ooh. is available. Mm. The move of God is available. available. The hand of God is available. Yes. The question is, are you are you ready to give it whatever it takes? Are you My ready God. to give God the time, the effort mm. in the place of prayer? Yes. Or are you satisfied at entry level? Mm. Entry level, speaking one tongue, <laughs> entry level. There's tongues of men. Yeah. There's tongues of angels. angels. There's groans that cannot be, be fathomed, dead. that mm. cannot be uttered. Mm. There is a realm where you get in God mm. of visions. Yes. And then there is a realm where you get in God mm. of being in the spirit. Yes. And then there is realms where you get in God and you can yes. say, there is yes. a man I know. Mm. Whether he was in the spirit or in the flesh, I do I not know. know. <laughs> but what I know is that uh, what he saw yes. was so glorious and so uh, grand. Yes, uh, Guys, there is a oh, level in God. Yes. You're, you're not even scratching the surface. surface. There is more to God. Mm. Seek him more in his word, yes. in his presence, in yes. prayer. Yes. And the more that you seek him, mm. the more he will find you. Hallelujah. You won't find him. No. He will find you. He will find you. We're going to close with prayer. Let us mm. pray. Father, I thank you for yes. men and women yes, around the world. Yes, Lord. I pray yes, that you Lord. stir up our hearts to pray, yes. to seek your face, to yes, do your Jesus. will. Yes, Show Lord. us that, Lord, there is much Lord. more Lord. to you. Mm. Yes, we have seen you. Yes. We have had testimonies. Mm. We have experienced you. Yes. Cause us to understand that there is more, oh. more and more yes. and more. Yes. Take yes. us all, yes. God, from this entry yes. level yes. or from the level we have been stuck yes. at for all this time. Take us mm. deeper. deeper. Take Lord. us deeper in prayer. Deeper, Take us deeper in fasting, deeper, deeper in worship, deeper, deeper in your deeper. presence that we will truly say mm. that we are walking yes. with God. Yes. I pray and release right now mm. the passion for the things of God, yes. for revival, for the yes. anointing, yes. for the word of God. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. If you want to give your life to Jesus, I encourage you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear God, I come to you in prayer today, repenting of all my sins and seeking your forgiveness. I renounce sin, the devil, and the world, and commit to live for you. I confess you died on the cross for me, and I receive you as Lord, Savior, and King. Come into my life and change me. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. From today, I pledge to live for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to the family of God. I am super excited because you have come to the family of God. You are very most welcome. I want to pray for you in this next minute. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your people that have believed you. I pray, King of glory, that you will bless them, you'll increase them, you will help them grow and experience you and your love in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Five things I want to encourage you to do even as you go on on your journey of experiencing the greatness and the blessing of salvation. Number one, read and study your Bible every day. 
Begin reading one chapter of the Bible in the book of John each and every day. It will help you to grow and understand God and his will. The second thing I encourage you to do is to pray. Spend time each day in prayer, conversing and communicating with God because a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. The third thing I encourage you to do is to join a Bible-believing church. I encourage you every Sunday to join them and to worship with them in the name of the Lord. They will teach you the Bible. They will teach you the Word of God, the principles of God, and you will grow and increase in God. The fourth thing I encourage you to do is to make friends with Christians, believers around you. They will help you to grow your faith in the Lord. The final thing I encourage you to do is to be a witness by telling other people what God has done and the decision you have made because that decision is the most important decision you will ever make in your life. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.